strength, and then I'm going to talk about a shooting drill uh, that, that, that we do. I'm, I'm, uh, one of the reasons that I took over the athletic director job is I have four boys that love basketball. And I talk to them all the time about appreciating what they have. Right? And, and, and guys, when I tell you that, that I know a lot about potato basketball, I'm not lying to you. I know a lot about it. I came to the night groups last year. Right? I checked scores. My brother was the head coach at St. Francis for the last few years and come over here for the, for the Thanksgiving term. You're in a very, very special place. You're in a place that's respected throughout the state of Illinois. And I want you to go home today and make sure that you appreciate that. I remember 1986, I'm standing right by that door right there, okay? Playing an 8 o'clock game, the game on Wednesday night. The tape is opener, the showcase game. The place is packed. Both sides. Okay, crowd. I'm a sophomore. I am dripping in sweat. My knees are shaking. My hands are shaking. Come out, run through the, you know, the, the thing, go through my first two layups, get my first shot. Okay, I'll spend the crowd going crazy in warm ups right here. It's perfect. Follow through is perfect. Okay, it felt really good in the rhythm. It hit the foam right here. Okay, right there. Hit the foam out the whole way. Okay, and it had to do with this place being so special. You get to go to Quincy, you get to play the night of you gotta appreciate how much time Coach Robinson's coaching staff does in putting together one of the best shootouts in the state of Illinois. Appreciate, you know, how, how, how the facility now. I just got to walk back and see the new field out. Unbelievable. Part of the reason I want you to appreciate that is because you know what? It's hot in here. How many people work hard today? How many people? would like to be in a pool right now in about an hour. Yeah. Alright? Please, please, please don't complain about it. You're in a special place. Alright? Next thing. How many people you, of, of you have trophies at home? You got a trophy, a plaque, or something that's sitting in your, your bed. How many people have something that says you're a champion out? How many people of you that still have your hands up? You want to be a champion at Acadia High School, Acadia Basketball. You want to win the Buff State Eight. You want to win regional championships. You want to win, win sectional championships. How many people want to do that? Everybody's hands are up. Alright? I believe this. And I believe that Coach Roberts believes this too. Because I see how the type of, of, of the kids that he produces. We have a saying, we have a saying that in Wheat Morville South basketball, and it'll continue to be part of the Wheat Morville South athletic department. We are in the, in the business of building championship kids, not championship. Understand what I mean by that? You guys raise your hand. You got a plaque or a trophy that says you're a champion. How many of you have the greatest in your, in your bedroom? You got your report card sitting next to that trophy. Are they not good enough? How many of you have uh, a card from mom or dad or an aunt or uncle saying thank you for something you did for them? My point is this, fellas. You're not a champion on the basketball floor, the baseball floor, the field, the football field, tennis, whatever it is, unless you're a championship person. That means, are you raising your hand in class and answering questions and making sure the teacher can stay on task and teach what they're supposed to teach? Or are you in the background passing notes, not doing your homework? If you are, then you're just, you just, you're not a complete champion. 
Do you walk the halls of Batavia High School? Follow the rules. Say hi to your coaches and teachers. This community is very, very gracious in what they give you. You give back to the community. I drove through today and all the bulldogs out there are painting. How special that is. Are you going to give back to the community? Are you going to go work some camps? Are you going to go help people that need help? Because it's my belief that you're not just going to become a championship team because you want to, because of how you throw the ball, how you shoot the ball. You're going to become a championship team because your team is made up of championship people. They're going to be champions 24-7. Not the two hours that they're at practice. I don't want to deal with the kid that's a champion for two hours of practice, and then I got to deal with how long this is him scoring around the class or being a knucklehead on the weekends. You're not a champion. Take that trophy, put it away. Be a complete champion. And I guarantee you, not just to take in Coach Roberts, but you look at the teams that do well. I'm guessing in any sport that they're made up of championship people. All right? All right. Uh, ten minutes. Last thing I want to leave you with is this. Okay? I don't know. See, see, I'm going I'm to explain my sons to you. Okay? I got an incoming freshman, a seventh grader, a sixth grader, and a second grader. All right? See if you've ever done this with your parents. I've had them come up and ask me, and they say, Dad, Ken, again, Grant, I'm a, I was a basketball coach. I don't know as much as Coach Roberts, but I know a little bit about basketball. Hey, Dad, I want to get individual lessons from so-and-so. Oh, okay. Sure. Hey, Dad, so-and-so's got the, I don't know, we want to go south and get something called ESP. It's a speed training. I don't know, is there a speed train around here with get fat, not me, right? Just around here, get quicker, get fast. I want to do that, Dad. How many of you have ever asked your mom and dad for something like that? Uh, here's my answer to them, and this is what we're going to lead into, into this. I'm not doing anything. I'll have no problem paying money to improve your basketball game. But you sure as heck better show me that you're willing to improve it by yourself first. Dad, can I go get individual lessons? Sure. Get out and drive with it and show me that the sport and you get better as you want to. Because if you're not doing that first, why the heck am I going to spend money to send you to so-and-so to get you better when you have to drive out there that the rims a little bit? Who cares? Well, it slants a little bit. Well, the, 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 why do we have an indoor ball? Okay? That drives me crazy. It drives me crazy to drive through Wheaton and Warrenville and see baskets and driveways that look like they've never been touched. The nets are still, you know, like when you get that net, it's still nice and snug. Ball hasn't even gone through. Yet, hey, I need speed training. I need this. Alright? I'm a big believer in individual movement. I'm trying to show you two drills right now that when mom and dad says, hey, go work on your game, and you say, well, I need a partner, or there's no way to play with it, you can just go out and do it on your own. And I think if you watch these drills, I don't know, it, we can, you can time a little bit. Maybe, maybe 25, 30 minutes, dripping in sweat, ton of shots, and you're done for the day. Okay? Coach, how many guys do you need? Uh, you know what, if we're just going to go with this fast, I just need three. Three guys from group B, step up. Okay. We, I got, we got this from Coach uh, Solo down at St. Francis. Call it Millie. All I ask these guys to do right now is spin the basketball. Okay. Just spin it and make sure we're square up. Shot, but don't shoot. Okay, I'm just gonna say shot. I wanna see the belly buttons in the middle of the room. I'm just gonna keep spinning it, shot. Okay, spinning it, shot. I might go here, we might go inside the pivot. Shot, okay? 20 seconds, spin it on. Say shot. Say shot. Okay? Make sure they're not square. Make sure they're square. Make sure the belly buttons in the middle of the rim. Okay? Stop. We do that for a minute. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shoot the basket. We're going to stay inside of 15 feet. Okay. Progressing 
number two. Just gonna say, fifteen feet. Bust your tail, take the basketball. Go.
gotta make seven shots. Alright? You miss it, you miss it, you go right back to the end of the line. Alright? Alright. I'm gonna tie them right here. Coach, I got it. Right here. A minute and a half. You're gonna go a minute and a half, see if you can get through two times. Go right after. And he does it. If he makes it, you miss it, go to the end of the line. You gotta make it from the spot. Set? Go.